So you're using your Kubuntu or Ubuntu desktop and you notice your task bar, your task panel, they call it the panel on Linux distributions, it's missing. And this may have happened when you were changing your desktop between monitors. We're going to open up Folder Explorer, Folder Manager, and we're going to use Dolphin in this case. And we're going to look for the home folder. And then we're going to look for a folder called .config. And this folder may be hidden by default. If it is, press Ctrl H on your keyboard. It should show all the hidden files and folders in your home folder. Once we press Ctrl H and we're able to see the .config folder, we're going to enter that folder and look for a file called plasma-org.kde.plasma.desktop-applet-src. It's a long file name, so we're going to put it in the video description below for future reference. Now, once we identify that file, we're going to open it up with a text editor. We're going to use Kate in this situation, but you can use any text editor that you prefer. And then we're going to search for the word panel. And that's going to identify panel entries. And in this case, we get two results because we added a second panel when we lost our original panel so that we could access things a little quicker. And then we're going to look at the containments number. So one of these panels is has a containments ID number of 213, and the other one has a containments ID number of 3. That 3 is probably going to be the original panel because it's the lower number closest to the install date of the desktop. We're also going to compare another entry under each of those panel configurations, and that entry is last screen equals. On the newer or higher numbered panel, 213, last screen equals zero. Well, that's good because that's our primary monitor. On the containments three panel, it's, it reads last screen equals two. Uh oh, that's going to be a problem because, well, let's think about this. If Linux distributions consider screen zero monitor one, then screen one is monitor two. Screen two would be a monitor three. Well, on this particular system, we only have two monitors connected, so. That's why we can't see this panel. It still exists. It's still there. It still has all of our customizations that we added to it. We just can't see it because it's on screen two, which is monitor three, which would explain why we could see it under certain circumstances. When we span the desktop across both monitors, we could see the task panel on one of the monitors. But when we went back to individual monitors or clone them individually or just went back to a single monitor, we could no longer see the task panel. For some reason, it doesn't revert it back to the primary panel. So we're going to do that manually. And on each of those panels, we're going to check the last screen entry. And we're going to make sure they're set to zero. This one's set to two. So we're going to delete the two, replace it with a zero, and then save the file. And then we're going to log out and log back in. And there is our task panel with all of our original customizations and additions and pin programs and pinned widgets back on our desktop. This worked on the system that we were on, so let us know if it works on your system as well. Perhaps when you span the monitors, that good old Linux tries to do something funny, like labeling that span desktop as the third desktop on screen two. And then when you go back to screen one or screen zero, you can't see it. Can't see it because it's on screen two, which is monitor three. And you only have two monitors connected to the desktop unless you go into spanned mode and it spans the desktop stretches the desktop across both screens and in that instant you can see your good old task panel on one of the monitor screens but when you go back to separating the screens to cloning replicating or single monitors you lose that task panel all together gone never to be heard from again but we know it's still there with all of our juicy morsels of customizations and plugins glistening somewhere down there beneath the pale monitor light
So this is one way you can get that panel back and get up and running again. Couple of clicks of the folders, couple of picks of the lines, and a couple of sticks on the keyboard. You got your panel back.